a chance. Governor Romney, I'm glad that you recognize that al-Qaeda is a threat. Because a few months ago, when you were asked what's the biggest geopolitical threat facing America, you said Russia. Not al-Qaeda, you said Russia. In the 1980s are now calling to ask for their foreign policy back because you know, the Cold War has been over for 20 years. But, Governor, you know, when it comes to our foreign policy, you seem to want to import the foreign policies of the 1980s, just like the social policies of the 1950s and the economic policies of the 1920s. You say that you're not interested in duplicating what happened in Iraq, but just a few weeks ago you said you think we should have more troops in Iraq right now. And the, the, the challenge we have, I know you haven't been in a position to, to actually execute foreign policy, but every time you've offered an opinion, you've been wrong. You said we should have gone into Iraq, despite the fact that there were no weapons of mass destruction. You said that we should still have troops in Iraq to this day. You indicated that uh, we shouldn't be passing uh, nuclear uh, treaties with Russia, despite the fact that 71 senators, Democrats and Republicans, voted for it. You've said that, first, we should not have a timeline in Afghanistan, then you said we should. Now you say maybe, or it depends, uh, which means not only were you wrong, but you were also confusing and sending mixed messages both to our troops and our allies. So what, what we need to do with respect to the Middle East is strong, steady leadership, not wrong and reckless leadership that is all over the map. And unfortunately, that's the kind of opinions that you've offered throughout this campaign. And it is not a recipe for American strength or keeping America safe over the I'm long I'm going to add a couple of sec minutes here to give you a chance to respond. Well, of course, uh, I don't uh, concur with what the president said about my own record and the things that I've said. Uh, they don't happen to be accurate. But, uh, but I can say this, that we're talking about the Middle East and how to help the Middle East reject the kind of terrorism we're seeing and the rising tide of tumult and, and confusion. And, and attacking me is not an agenda. Attacking me is not talking about how we're going to deal with the challenges that exist in the Middle East and take advantage of the opportunity there and stem the tide of this violence. But I'll respond to a couple of things you mentioned. First of all, Russia, I indicated, is a geopolitical foe. Not a, Number one, excuse me, it's a geopolitical foe. And I said in the, same, in the same paragraph, I said, and Iran is the greatest national security threat we face. Russia does continue to battle us in the UN time and time again. I have clear eyes on this. I'm not going to wear rose-colored glasses when it comes to Russia or Mr. Putin. And I'm certainly not going to say to him, I'll give him more flexibility after the election. After the election, he'll get more backbone. 